Hello and welcome to my channel, This Fantastic Life. I'm your host, Brian, and this channel is about van life in your 50s. I know many of you van lifers are interested in boondocking, and you think that all the good boondocking happens out on the West Coast, where there's lots of BLM land and national forests, but I'm here to tell you there's also some high-quality boondocking on the East Coast, specifically here in my home state of Pennsylvania. So in this episode, I'm going to show you uh, why I think Pennsylvania is a great state for finding free dispersed camping. And then I'm going to show you five of my favorite campsites and things to do in the surrounding areas. Pennsylvania has only one national forest in its boundary, and that's the Allegheny National Forest in the dark green up here in the north central to northwestern region of the state. And there is plenty of free dispersed camping in the national forest. However, in addition to the national forest, Pennsylvania also has over 2 million acres of state forest land. And if you go to this one website, maps.dcnr.pa.gov backslash bof backslash camping backslash, it will show you a map of the state of Pennsylvania with all of the sanctioned dispersed camping sites in the state forest lands. Let's say you want to go camping in the Pocono Mountain region in the northeastern area of Pennsylvania. You can come over here and click on one of these campsites and it will pop up information about the site. So this is uh, site E14 Silver Lake in the forest district number 19 which is the Delaware State Forest and it gives you information about the campsite here. There's a fire ring, there's picnic table, allows up to six vehicles, there's trailer access, and then if you scroll down here, you can see the GPS coordinates for the campsite. Now, one of the nice things about boondocking in Pennsylvania State Forest is that you can actually reserve your campsite in advance, and it's completely free. So all you have to do to check whether or not this campsite is available is click on the availability tab here and a calendar will pop up here. You can reserve your campsite up to 90 days in advance and for up to seven consecutive nights. So this particular campsite is uh, free uh, every day in the month of November. And if you want to apply to camp here, all you need to do is click on the link down here. And then you select the forest district, Delaware State Forest. You enter all your relevant information, your name, address, phone number, emergency contact, driver's license number, etc. Information about your vehicle, the number of people in your party, and the type of camping that you're going to be doing here. So we're doing motorized dispersed camping. And the date of your arrival and departure date. And then down below, your requested campsite. So you selected this particular campsite, but maybe there were other ones in the region as well. That you wanted as a backup in case this one was full you can write those down here and then after you click that you accept the terms and conditions you can submit this to the dcnr website and usually within 24 hours you'll get an email back from the forest district ranger that will have a pdf file of your permit and you can print that out and then hang it at the end of the driveway at your campsite so all these campsites are dispersed campsites so they're separated from each other and the nice thing about boondocking in the state forest here is that you can actually reserve these campsites in advance so that you can show up as late as you want. You show up at 10 p.m. after dark and know that nobody else is going to be in that campsite because that campsite is reserved exclusively for you. And this is a completely free service uh, from the state of Pennsylvania. In this video, I'm going to highlight five of my favorite boondocking sites in the state of Pennsylvania and the things to do in the surrounding area. This is campsite number three in the Forbes State Forest. Forbes State Forest is located just off of Kirby Road in Farmington, Pennsylvania, about an hour and a half southeast of Pittsburgh and about 30 minutes northeast of Morgantown, West Virginia. Beautiful campsite here surrounded by ferns and lovely forest trees. In a short walk behind the flat campsite, you can enter this area where there is a, a nice man-made lake with a little dock on it there. You can go fishing there or you can go swimming in the lake. I did a little bit of swimming by myself there and then laid out and did some sunbathing. Okay. 
Jessica liked to hang, hang out on the hammock back at the campsite. And of course, we had a nice campfire in the evening. One of the nice things about this particular campsite is it's centrally located. Ohio Pile State Park, consistently ranked as the number one state park in Pennsylvania, is only about a 15 minute drive away. One of the nice things about state parks in Pennsylvania is there's also no entry fee. Ohio Pile has a lot of interesting trails and overlooks, and you can go whitewater rafting there. You can even go down these uh, naturally made water chutes. The campsite is also not far, about 15 minutes drive from one of Frank Lloyd Wright's homes, Kentuck Knob. Another of Frank Lloyd Wright's architectural marvels, Falling Water, his most famous home, is located only a 20 minute drive from the campsite. The campsite is also only five minutes away from Laurel Caverns and about 10 minutes drive to Fort Necessity National Battlefield, where George Washington was defeated by the French in 1755. My second favorite campsite in Pennsylvania is in the Allegheny National Forest, just off of Route 666 near the Minister Creek Campground near Sheffield, Pennsylvania, along the Tyanesta Creek. This is such a peaceful campsite right along the creek that I decided to write a poem about it. It goes like this. Down by the Tyanesta, where I've found the peace I seek, my tired body's resting in the stillness of that creek. I have watched the eagle soaring. I have seen the fishes leap. But her ripples are alluring as they lull me into sleep. As I cast aside the sorrow of my vain and empty years, I will dream about the morrow with her whisper in my ears. It is here my soul now reckons with the closing of the day as the Tyanesta beckons, gliding gently on her way. There are a number of interesting places to visit within an hour's drive of this campsite. The first is Kanzua Bridge State Park, which features the remains of a railroad trestle built over the Kinzua Creek in 1882 and originally hailed as the eighth wonder of the world. The bridge was 301 feet tall, 2,052 feet long. It collapsed during an F1 tornado in July of 2003, only a year after being closed because engineers deemed that it was structurally unworthy. Nearby in the Allegheny National Forest, you can also drive to the Rim Rock Overlook and do some hiking here with beautiful views of the Allegheny River. Also nearby is Jake's Overlook. A little farther along, you can drive to a point known as Kinzua Point, which overlooks the Kinzua Dam. The Kinzua Dam was built in 1965, following flooding of Pittsburgh in 1936, and an act of Congress called the Control Act, the Flood Control Act of 1936 and 1938. Also nearby is Cook Forest State Park, an old growth forest of white pine and hemlock. You can walk among some of the oldest trees on the Appalachians. I highly recommend the Deer Park Trail here. Okay, check this out. There's our camper van. Right here's the creek. Just a short walk back from our campsite, upstream. Boom! Beautiful little artificial waterfall here. Nice little dam breast. Unbelievable sight.
We use the Tuscarora State Forest as our base of operations to do a loop of Trough Creek State Park, Raystown Lake, and the Thousand Step Trail. Trough Creek State Park is a gem of a state park located in central Pennsylvania, just southeast of Raystown Lake and bordering on Rock Rock State Forest. Here you can do an easy 1.5 mile loop trail past Rainbow Falls to the Balanced Rock along the Ledges Trail and then to the Caparis Rock overhang of the Great Trough Creek. Also located in the park is a Paradise Furnace, an iron forge built in the 1830s. Nearby is Raystown Lake, the largest lake that's entirely in Pennsylvania. It's up to 200 feet deep at its deepest point. It was completed in 1973 by the Army Corps of Engineers. It's used for boating, swimming, fishing, scuba diving, and mountain biking. You can visit the Seven Points Marina in Heston or Hans Overlook in Huntington. Also nearby is the Thousand Steps Trail in Huntington County, just off of Route 22. This trail is renowned for its 1,037 stone steps carved in the side of the mountain and an 850-foot elevation gain to an old stone quarry, ruins of a train shed called the Dinky, and a scenic overlook of the Juniata River and the town of Mapleton. Campsite number four is in Loyal Sock State Forest at 60 Shanersburg Road. Loyal Stock State Forest is right next door, about five to 10 minute drive from World's End State Park. World's End State Park features an outdoor chapel, uh, lots of hiking trails. We took the double run trail to Cottonwood Falls and then the Link Trail and the High Rock Trail for a 3.5 mile loop. It's also a five minute drive from High Knob Overlook in Loyal Sock State Forest and also from the quaint town of Fortsville where there's a covered bridge, an old white church, and a country store. You can also use this as a home base to go to Ricketts Glen State Park. Ricketts Glen State Park is about a 45 minutes drive from here. And it's my favorite park in the state. At Ricketts Glen State Park, be sure to park at the northern lot and take the Falls Trail. The Falls Trail is a 3.4 mile loop triangle shaped trail that goes past 19 named waterfalls, the largest of which is 90 feet tall. Ricketts Glen State Park is beautiful any time of the year, but it's especially wonderful in the fall when all the leaves are changing. Please see my separate uh, YouTube video on Ricketts Glen State Park. My fifth favorite boondocking area in the state is in the Delaware State Forest. We've actually tried various campsites here, including Site E11 Maple Run, Site E12 Flat Ridge Roads, my personal favorite, and Site O17 White Deer. They're all wonderful campsites. Delaware State Forest is centrally located in the Pocono Mountains in the northeastern region of the state. It's an easy drive to Promised Land State Park where you can hike on Conservation Island, or you can take a Short trip on the very popular Little Falls Trail. Absolutely gorgeous in the fall. It's also a quick drive to Lake Wallenpawpack. Lake Wallenpawpack is popular for boating in the summertime, including jet ski rentals, and lots of beautiful hiking in the fall or springtime. The Pocono Mountains are renowned for their waterfalls. This one is Shalola Falls, and there's also uh, Raymond Skill Falls nearby. Raymond Skill Falls is easily accessed via like a 0.1 or 0.2 mile loop trail. You can go to Dingman's Ferry and visit the National Park Visitor Center there and hike on a boardwalk to see two wonderful waterfalls known as Silver Thread Falls and its namesake Dingman's Falls. Dingman's Falls is one of my favorite locations from when I was a child. My father used to bring me here as we stopped, as we drove through the Delaware Water Gap. Also in the Delaware Water Gap is Mount Tammany Hike. This is a wonderful hike to have beautiful views of the Delaware River that separates Pennsylvania from the state of New Jersey. And then finally in the Pocono region, you can also head to Seven Tubs 
which is in the Pinchot State Forest. Seven Tubs has a number of water slides that you can go through. It's a popular place in the spring and summertime for easy recreation. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe.